Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Lucid. We're hopping back into our game with Bandarlog and Disciples of YouTube. It's turn 23, and I had had some uh, missed turns that you were having to put up with before. Uh, hopefully ha I have a good long run of not forgetting to save my turn files. So, uh, yeah, we're on turn 23. We're going to do turn 23 and 24 this episode, and uh, as you can tell, it is going to be quite action-packed. So we have a message from Pangea. Holding relatively steady and starting to push back, about to hit a massive speed bump uh, of a Miklin army. So, yeah. It's a, this is a pretty strong combo. And really, Nazca is the powerhouse here, less than Miklin. I mean, Miklin is pretty strong, don't get me wrong. But uh, it's really cranking out all those condors basically for free. Uh, combined with... Tons of cap-only production, and then that will be transitioning into Sapaya's later. So that is very, very scary. Um, okay, so they took took one PD back, or Marignan did. Nazca raided him, took another province. Um, we... Let me just show this real quick. Took this from Miklin, and uh, yeah. He had put a little bit of PD in here, so he's got some cataphracts, which are pretty good. So we end up taking a few losses. Uh, or just a Marcata, not bad. Um, so yeah, we took this too. I forget what he had here. I think these guys were just trapped. Yeah, these guys were trapped after that failed raid, I think. But no, he's got a priest here. I don't know what he was going to do. It seems he probably could have evacuated them, but maybe he decided not to. Um, okay, Nazca. Uh, this is what they used to come in and clean out the army I had sitting on my fort. Or their fort, but I had moved that army off their fort instead of storming it because I was worried I would get attacked by one that I could handle. Now this I could have handled, so I'm kind of wishing I had stayed on. But I know he has like a hundred condors and his uh, cap, which he could have brought. I don't know why he didn't. Um, so that's a little unfortunate. I probably could have taken this, but um, yeah, not sure. Uh, which, that was this one. Yeah, so Marignan raids back a little land. Um, we take... This was actually kind of a little bit of a... coin toss, whether I'd take this, because it's basically the same troops attacking each other, except they probably have a little bit more. Oh, well, a lot of there's this, this shittier uh, Triton Guard rather than the much better Triton Trooper, and I have Triton Troopers, so... Uh, you can see it's pretty close, but in the end we barely prevail, which is nice because that is going to give us that whole lake system now. Uh, and then this is going to be good, so let's watch. So we, uh, Nazca could move two places. They could have moved on top of my fort with this uh, army, or they could have moved, um, or they could have moved to a plain province nearby, and I tried to defend both of them. And if you look, I've got these guys scripted to like throw shit in the front. I've got my Tiger Riders here on the side where hopefully they don't get attacked. My white one's in the middle. And the idea is by the time they jump in, I'm gonna have cast Swarm a few times from this guy. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get killed. I've got other guys spamming out luck and things like this, so. These guys are a little exposed, though. And his guys kind of drop in, and they just get walloped on. Yeah. And you can see, actually, the projectiles are doing a lot of damage here. So 
So that was kind of scary, but uh, as it turns out, we took it with very few losses. Um, they killed only uh, a couple of our Tiger Riders, and then uh, one white one and a Bandar Warrior. And they killed a lot of our PD. Um, but we pretty efficiently dispatched all these Eagle Warriors here. <clears throat> so that's kind of good news. Um, so now hopefully we can retake some of this. Unfortunately though, if we look over here, Nazca, I mean, Micklin has a pretty extensive fort system. He's got um, one here, one here. I think there's one over here too. Maybe he's... No, there's not one here. So he's cranking out a lot of these. I don't know how many turns of Eagle Warrior production that was, but you can't complain. Um, I don't think they're that expensive though. Yeah, they're only 15 gold, so they're actually really cheap. Yeah. So nothing to get too excited over, but uh, it was a pretty solid win. Uh, and the tricky thing about it was I had to defend both these provinces uh, in order to survive there. Um, and yeah, this was us retaking. So, uh, basically the name of the game, I'm gonna try to retake a lot of this stuff. I've got this army, I, for some reason my move orders aren't loaded in, but I'm gonna take uh, what we can carry here and we're gonna go attack this. We're gonna take what we can carry here and we're gonna go attack this. Or maybe this, I think we attack this and then we're gonna get, probably convert here turn after. Um, up here, we have moved our guys off of this fort, and you can see there's a ton of condors here, uh, which were what was kind of scary. If he brought all those, I would have lost, but if he didn't, I would have killed these guys. So I kind of would have liked to have killed it, but yeah, I didn't. Um, so now the question is, what are we going to do? We're going to pull these guys back. I have, unfortunately... Barbarians are about to attack this province. Um, I kind of want to keep these guys here. Uh, but I'm also worried... This is the problem fighting flying guys. Uh, is Right now Nazca has only been raiding. I haven't really seen him consolidate very much. But he could, for example, with map move 2, uh, flying over my shit, he could move all of his condors here and all his guys here. And if I moved all my stuff here, it would be pretty bloody. Uh, I don't know if I would win. But anyway, the, the only thing that's kind of okay about doing trades with Nazca is like if we wipe each other's armies out or have really high attrition fights, is they're in a 2v4 war, so probably disproportionately hurts them. They can't really afford to lose all that, but yeah, it hurts me too. <laughs> uh, and we want to be set up to gain some of the territory if uh, indeed we do end up beating the nazca Micklin combo with four players. Um, yeah, so these guys are kind of spent. We're going to be retaking, or we're going to be moving these guys out. Uh, he's probably worried I could fly on top of his fort too, so it's a little unlikely he comes out here, and he probably wouldn't be super excited about having me on top of his throne. Um, yeah. So I think that's basically it for this turn. We're basically just going to be retaking some of the raided lands. Um, this We're going to start building a palisade here. Um, just because I need another one up and it would be nice to protect the throne. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and pull up the next turn, turn 24. Sorry I didn't have my move orders in there. I tried to kind of put them in, but... Um, okay, we found a magic site, Starlit Pond, that's nice. We found two magic sites here with our Pretender, uh, which, so that's good, so we have a death income now. Actually, a pretty good death income, because we found these Pyramids of Life up here earlier, which actually are going to give us uh, death. So we have five death. We actually need to think about what we're going to do with that. There's a lot of good stuff in debt with death and conjuration, which we want to go anyway, because we've got a bunch of our good stuff in here. Um... So that's definitely an option. Uh, I wonder what it, there might be some particularly good things in death, like... We get Vetlas. Uh, and I think... Yeah, these are Ethereal and these are Ethereal. That, these are kind of chaffy. Okay, these are very chaffy. 
Um, Vetlas are kind of better. They have two forms. These guys only have one, but you get more. Actually, these are super value. I think we need to... And this I'm a couple turns ahead of this in real time. Um, at, at least at the time of recording. I think I need to get my Pretender back and start just pumping out these Ethereal Chaff. I think it's kind of been a mistake to wait this long, but I needed to Sight Search too. So I think he's going to come up here. We're going to Sight Search this. And then we're going to just start cranking out this Ethereal Chaff. Um, and I'm not sure which one. We'll probably... We can already get Ghanas. Do I... How much do I want to go up here? I want to go up here pretty bad. Yeah, I do. The thing is, there's so much good stuff for me, and Will of Fates is game-winning. Mass Protection and Wooden Warriors is pretty good. Swarm was good. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else do I have? I have almost everything on my Pretender. Fire, Earth. Let's just see what the good stuff in here in Alteration is. I know... Um, <sighs> darkness isn't going to help. Unless I have swarms of that undead chaff, which I could. Um, Battle Fortune. That's going to be really good. Normally it's not something you would get, but that would be pretty good. Um... T cost is a little high. And yeah, that's not so great. I'm already gonna be Alt 5. Fog Warriors would be huge. And I can cast that with my Pretender. Mmm. I mean that would be game breakingly good. Shit. I really want Alt 7. I may, I, I think I, I think I probably should detour. I don't know. I might just bomb hard for Alt 7. It's so good. Mass protection will be so big. Uh, and then I'll also have Fog Warriors. And with that, I can take an army and like roll up on top of Nazca's cap. But uh, anyway, so we'll probably stick with what we got for Conjuration and make Ghanas instead of Vetlas, but I might change my mind. Um, the other problem was we got attacked by Barbs, but I was really worried about him moving everyone here. Uh, so I moved my stuff here. So we're going to retake the Barb stuff, which is annoying. We're going to retake this. I've got a small... I'm splitting this too. This army's starving now. Um, so I'm moving half the army up here, half of it over here, and then we're retaking this. Um... We have basically successfully raided back our provinces. Um, it's looking kind of empty. I'm not sure what all they are going to bring, but we're going to consolidate forces here. And from here, I can probably take this. I was a little worried because my map movement's so horrible, I can't move across a plane and attack. So rather than attack with these guys which would probably work unless he did a pd dump which if he was building a fort here or something he probably would so if he did a lot of pd plus these guys they would kill this group so then i was like okay well, we'll just move everybody here and then we can either attack here and move back or i'm not sure he's got more troops here he looks like he's going to do something um And, yeah, I think that's about it for this turn. Um, Nazca's got just a few little guys poking around raiding, which is very annoying. Uh, for Marignan, though, he's in a bit more of a pickle. Um, he's moved up this way, and he's planning on kind of taking this, because this is actually a lot easier for him to hold than this kind of shit down here was, because the horrible logistics here yeah it's kind of the better thing about actual this is a random map so in some ways it's kind of interesting but in other ways it's kind of super shitty um player created maps usually won't have this bad a terrain 
type stuff, especially with relation to start positions, but... Um, cause yeah, he just can't really hold on to this. So anyway, Nazca's got a bunch of his shit, and is getting more of his shit. Um, yeah, this is kind of a disaster. Um, he can basically... So we've been, he'd been rushing Conjuration, uh, and you can see his channel to hear him talk more about it. But we were thinking, okay, fire, they have fire resistance. But fire elementals, like the big kind, the size 6 ones, which you get with Conjuration 5, they can hit hard through fire resistance pretty well. Uh, and then they'll do 10 AoE damage. Uh, and that's not a little. That's kind of a lot. Um, and then they'll absorb a lot of hits. Both of, things, both of those are things we need. Uh, but then we did some testing and we realized like, hey, the fire elemental thing really isn't working. We can't make enough of them. And they tend to get stunned actually by the thunder weapons and then not do any attacking. So uh, they weren't really helping that much and you're really just wasting mage turns. Uh, instead, we figured out we can do blade wind spam with his alchemist guild here. So, um, yeah, the, the real problem is we don't know where any of these armies are going. Like, they can each go anywhere, and, yeah. You need very efficient ways to defend provinces. Uh, Pangea and Satis are able to do it with assassins, because they move this squad in and they get ripped apart by assassins, but... Um, yeah. So we're gonna take this... And yeah, we're gonna take this. And I think I think that's about it for this turn. So uh, tune in next time. Uh, the game is heating up, and um, the way it works against these air nations is they usually are able to raid and raid and raid, and it's only when you're able to kill kind of a critical mass of their guys that you ever get them on their heels. And right there, they're, right now they're definitely not at that phase. Um, so we need to win a couple big battles against them. Like I, this battle against Miklin was helpful. Um, but we nobody's really won a good battle against uh, Marignan yet. I mean against uh, Nazca yet. I can check, I think... Yeah, like he just killed a shit ton of PD here. Oh, this was that province he had done a PD dump in before. Okay, we knew we were going to lose that. Yeah. Okay, this was actually good. Let's watch this real quick. I keep saying the episode's over, and then I find more shit to do. Yeah, so he caught him here in a little PD trap. Yeah, here are the fire elementals we were talking about. And unfortunately, they've kind of gotten trapped and didn't do too much, but... Uh, yeah. So anyway, but all in all, that was, like, we need more battles like this. We lost a few things, like a witch hunter and a paladin, and... Um, some stuff, but uh, we need to be trading with them rather than just having them free raid our provinces, so uh, we need more like that. Though, uh, that was probably maybe one turn of sacred production for Nazca, but um, if four people, like if Satis, Pangea, myself, and Marignan are all trading, then we'll be okay. But if we're not, then they're just going to outrate us. So, anyway. Um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.